So in triangle RPQ, we know that the length RP is 8.7 centimeters, PQ is 5.2 centimeters, and the angle PRQ is 32 degrees. And part A says, assuming that the angle PQR is an acute angle, calculate the area of triangle RPQ, giving your answer correct to three significant figures. So just a reminder of what an acute angle is. So an angle is acute if the angle is less than 90 degrees. So it's less than a right angle. So we know um, that PQR is acute. We also know that the angle PRQ is acute because we've been told it is 32 degrees. So we start to draw a sort of rough sketch of the triangle to try and work out what we're doing. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the point Q. And I'm going to draw R here. I'm going to join those up here. And this is where the fact that the angle PQR is acute comes in. We could either draw P somewhere up here or somewhere over here. If it was over here, as you can see, the angle would be obtuse, so it would be greater than 90 degrees. If it's over here, it's going to be less than 90 degrees, so acute. So we know we're going to have to draw it somewhere over here. So I'm going to draw it um, if we go for here. And then I'm going to complete the triangle. Um, so this side is P. And I'm going to fill in the information we know. So we know that the length uh, R to P is 8.7 centimetres. P to Q is 5.2 centimetres. And the angle PRQ is 32 degrees. Great, so now we need to work out the area of this triangle. And for this, I think we can use the sine rule, which I've written out here. So the capital letters here represent the angles. And the little letters here represent the opposite side. So, for example, if this was angle A, this would be side A. So, what I can do using that is I can say, okay, so sine 32, because that's the angle we've been told, over, and if I look at the opposite side, that's 5.2 centimetres, equals, and I'm going to call this angle here, um, that we don't know, I'm going to call that X. So, we say, okay, sine of X over, and then the opposite side to that, is 8.7. And now we've got an equation here that we've created that we can solve. So if I multiply both sides by 8.7, we'll get sine x by itself. So I'm going to do 8.7 multiplied by sine 32 over 5.2. And to get x by itself, we need to do inverse sine of all of this. So 8.7 multiplied by sine 32 over 5.2 and if we put all of that into the calculator we get 62 point and I'm going to write out a few decimal places so we've got 4485 and that's an angle so we've got degrees now our second step is we're going to work out angle P and it's this remaining angle and we can do that because we know all of the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees so we've got two of them so we can work out the third one so I'm going to label this one up here, um, angle, let's call it Y. So Y equals 180, because all of the angles add up to 180, minus 32, subtracting the other angle we just worked out. So 62.448 dot, dot, dot. And it's good if you store this long number in your calculator, you can use it um, when you're doing this sum of the calculator to make it as accurate as possible. So that gives us that this angle is 85.5514682 degrees. So what we're going to do is use this formula for the area of a triangle, which says the area of a triangle is half AB multiplied by sine C. And if you think about it in this triangle here, uh, we've got the angles ABC, and then the sides corresponding to that are the ones opposite to it. So to work out the area of this triangle, we would need this angle here and the two sides that are connected to the angle. And if we think back to the question, we've got that now, because now we've managed to work out this angle here. We've got this angle and these two sides connected to it. So I've done a little sketch here um, of the triangle um, with all the information we need. So we've got an angle here and the two sides, so we can now work out the area. So the area is going to be half multiplied by these sides. So 5.2 multiplied by 8.7 and multiply by its sine of this angle. And I'm going to use the full number when I put it in the calculator um, just to make it as accurate as possible. Um, but just for writing, I'm going to do 
22.6 here. So doing that, we get 22.5518552. And if I do that to three significant figures, that's 22.6, three significant figures. And so that's the answer to the question, 22.6, which remember, centimeter squared. And looking to see where we get the marks for part A. Um, so we get the first mark for starting the process of labeling the triangle and drawing it out like this and realizing we can use the sine rule like that. And we get a second mark for doing this bit of working. So rearranging, so we get x equals sine inverse of this. We get the third mark then for going through this process down to here to calculate the area. We get the fourth mark for the correct area to three significant figures. Right, so now part B says, if you did not know that the angle PQR is acute, what effect would this have on your calculation of the area of the triangle RPQ? Okay, so I've got a little diagram um, of the triangle um, here. And in this case, um, Q is acute, you can see here. So as we said in the previous part, when um, the angle is acute, it means it's less than 90 degrees. So the other option would be that the angle could be obtuse or greater than 90 degrees. And I'm going to model what that could look like on this triangle here. So this angle is going to stay the exact same. The only thing that's going to change is this from acute to obtuse. So I'm going to change this angle. Um, so if I made it obtuse, so bigger than 90 degrees, so I'm going to need to, yeah, it'll be something like that. And P will be up there. Um, so this is the triangle when the angle is acute, and this is the triangle, or an example of it, when it's obtuse. So you see this angle stayed the same, but P has got much, much smaller up here, um, and Q has got bigger, so things have changed around. And as you can see, the area of the triangle has also changed. So essentially what the question is getting at, if we didn't know that the angle was acute, so if we didn't know the triangle was this one, it could have been either of them, so what we need to do to get the mark for this question is just write out, we would need to work out the area of two triangles and that would get you your mark. So you wouldn't need to draw these diagrams or anything. That was just um, to help explain. All you need to write is this bit of text here.